Hi folks, this is all the fruit. And finally I found the giant turpentine tree I saw from the railroad. You know, most turpentine trees here on the Côte d'Azur, they are not trees, they are shrubs, they look like this one. Less than two meters tall. However, look at this bad boy over here. This is such an amazing tree. Starts out down there, not too thick, maybe 30 centimeters. It goes up, 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 well over 10 meters. This could be well over to the maximum height that I've read about terebins. Basically, everybody says we're three to five meters, but one, uh, one source said in extreme cases they can grow up to 12 meters. But look at this thing, folks. If you say that it's 30 centimeters tall, this well, it is well around 12 meters. Now, I was dabbling a little bit into pistachio identification here. Let's start with this small one, which is probably closely related. If it's a terebinth, the petiole shouldn't be winked and it shouldn't be hairy. Oh, this one is. This one is perfect. No wings and no visible hairs. Because I had a couple ones nearby which were not so clear. Now I, of course, want to get at the big one. But it hasn't got any low hanging branches. Or has it? Oh, one branch here. So let's see. Uh, Okay, I'll break off a tiny little twig. Let's look at those things. Hmm. The patio is conspicuously flat. Almost winked. However, cannot spot a single hair here. Okay, terminal leaflet, which is smaller than the other ones, not always a terminal leaflet, some of them are without a terminal leaflet. Whenever a terminal leaflet is present, it is smaller than the, than the other leaflets, a bit strange, some hints of, some hints of wings on this petiole, amazing tree. I mean, I've seen a couple quite tall terebins around here. Ah, I will not even try to talk louder than this train. One terebin I saw from afar was maybe around, maybe around um, five or six meters tall. Why do they have fences here? Who is coming down from this railroad except for me? But this thing, I mean, this is, I know only one pistachio species that can achieve such sizes. It's Pistacia atlantica. The Pistacia atlantica in dry areas in North Africa, in the Middle East, it's actually the main timber tree in some areas because it's the only tree of sufficient size which grows in those areas. But here on the Côte d'Azur we are pretty far north actually. We are basically yeah, we are at the foothills of the Alps. We are in the northernmost in the northernmost subtropical pocket I know anywhere in the world. I would say the Côte d'Azur slash Italian Riviera is the northernmost pretty much <coughs> frost free pocket which still has a good hot summer anywhere in the world if you know a place which is further north and is subtropical please tell me well and this stuff yeah around here it's it's crazy that even stuff like olives here and carrots and evergreen oaks grow here and also of course pistachios we have pistachia terebintos and pistachia lentiscus growing here and also a couple of pistachia vera, the ones where the, pist uh, the edible pistachios come from. But nothing of this size. It's a male tree, definitely. 
you can see the you can see the male inflorescences there so we will get no pistachios from this one except if it's delicious i mean with pistachios some have male and female trees and some just have male and female flowers however i don't see any little pistachio fruits on that one the one down here is a female actually though both those are females look bunches of tiny little pistachios if it's terebinthus they are too small to be edible if it's atlantica they are basically like tiny edible pistachios pistachios on this tree it's also a female they're quite big if it's terebinthus they are not going to get much bigger but this year and I mean it's not even like it's growing in a really crazy restricted space okay there are flowering ashes on this side but they are much younger than this big pistachio tree you know when plants grow when trees grow with very good supply of water and uh, and fertilizer but we're very uh, very restricted by other trees they might grow that tall but no those oaks here they are also much younger than it okay the the oaks behind it and the pine tree here they are older probably but still and here from this side from the north they cannot be any competition because there has been the railroad for the last 100 years so it's not like this thing has been like darkened out by other trees can you tell me folks how this thing is well where i'm standing this thing is growing almost two meter below me so and then yeah and then from the level i'm standing it's still about 10 meters upwards look at that here we have the the train is passing beneath those uh, those wires and the tree continues many more meters maybe four or more meters above those wires and then continues two meters below those railroads so if you say that the train is four meters high or five meters high this continues four meters above two meters below then we at 11 meters amazing as i said i've seen pistachio trees of similar size but this was pistachio atlantica and this was thousands of kilometers south of here so can you tell me folks what do you think i saw in nearby monaco some pistachio hybrids there i didn't have any identification literature or internet so i just made the video about the random pistachios some of which are probably hybrids but still the three pistachios present here terebinthus lentiscus and vera how can i produce a, a hybrid the size of pistachia atlantica please tell me your opinion on, on this giant tree folks is it just a giant pistachia lentis, uh, terebinthus I mean, maybe hundreds of years ago in the big forests of the Mediterranean where this was a normal size for this. Is this a crazy hybrid? What is the reason for this tree? Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. Yeah, um, unfortunately, the terebint fruits are not edible, unlike other pistachio species. From the beautiful and subtropical Côte d'Azur. If you know a subtropical place further north in here, please tell me. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.